Hello and welcome to the Performance Centre here at Howley Hall Golf Club in Leeds where today we're taking a look at the new Maverick Max Fairway Wood from Callaway. Hi there, Ryan Rastel here for Golfshake.com, PGA Professional here at Howley Hall Golf Club in Leeds and as I've said today we're taking a look at the new Maverick Max Fairway Wood from Callaway but before we get into that Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see loads more content from us here at Golf Shake to help you play more and play better. So, Callaway Maverick. It's a new um, family for 2020. Uh, uses a lot of technology that we've seen in Epic Flash and some of the previous models uh, in the jailbreak that we see in the, um, just behind the face there, in the construction of the head really helping us maximize ball speed and reduce the loss of energy in the head. Um, we've got Flash Face, which we saw last year for the first time in Epic Flash, which is where Callaway use artificial intelligence to design each face for each golf club um, so that they perform for the level of golfer that they're aimed at, but also making sure that they're as hot as they can be across all areas of the face to get as much ball speed for you as possible. Now, the biggest difference in Maverick compared to previous families that Callaway um, have introduced is that every single head has been designed using artificial intelligence and all done individually. So um, the technology that's gone into all of these golf clubs and the time spent and the marginal gains that the designers are looking for is really only, I would say, akin to Formula One team looking at, you know, trying to make these things slightly faster or slightly more forgiving, or, you know, just, just really trying to look at how we can make sure that these golf clubs are gonna perform for that level of player as much as we possibly can. So, um, without me boring you to death about it, let's hear from um, Senior Vice President from Callaway, Dr. Alan Hocknell, to tell you a little bit more. So the, the Maverick fairway woods, uh, in some senses, are an extension of uh, good fairway woods that we've made before in that they feature face cup technology, carbon crowns, and uh, body shapes that are familiar to you that have been very effective at getting the club to the ball, a variety of turf conditions, including off the tee. What's unique about Maverick, though, is the first time that we've really applied our artificial intelligence tools to the design of the faces of those fairway woods. And for that, we have unique fairway wood faces for uh, every uh, one of the three models, the standard, the Sub-Zero, and the Max. And then within the range of fairway woods, every fairway wood has a unique face as well. So the three wood different from the five, the seven, and so on. Um, that shows that we're designing to a higher level of fidelity than ever before, looking at the way that golfers use each of those golf clubs in a lot more detail and allowing the computer to suggest to us how to generate face thickness patterns that respond to those needs for ball speed at different parts of the face. Then new for us is a max model, uh, unique in that it's a larger head for us with a lower leading edge. We find that this is going to be very attractive to golfers who need a little bit more help hitting fairway woods. Uh, a lot of players uh, sort of slide the club into the ball, they skid the club into the ball, hit very low on the face. Uh, there's more face lower down in the max model than there has been before, combined with larger MOI and a very easy to launch set of characteristics. Still features jailbreak and our AI face technology, so there's a lot of power available with that easy launching characteristic. It's also uh, the most draw bias of our fairway woods too for people who need a little bit of help straightening out some shots. So there are a lot of different options for people to try within our range and certainly uh, a choice between two of the three of them is likely and I uh, would expect people to uh, get some details hidden on a launch monitor and seeing with their own eyes uh, downrange what's going on and, and pick the one that will optimize their performance. So there we have it. How impressive is that? The lengths that these guys are going to to make sure that we can go out at the weekend and play some better golf. What, without talking too much more, let's go hit some shots with it. Okay, so the Max is obviously the most forgiving model in the Maverick family. Um, available to move weight into that draw position should you need that little bit of help to do so as well. It has a 14 gram and a two gram weight, which you can switch. At the minute, I've got the, the heavier weight at the back there, so it should be the most forgiving. Um, maybe launch the ball ever so slightly higher for me as well. This isn't maybe the model that I would particularly use, but we should be able to see on the track man here just how much more forgiving, slightly higher flight this club 
um, is compared to some others that you'll have seen me test before. But I mean, initially sat behind the ball, yes, it's a much bigger footprint than um, the Sub-Zero and the, the standard model. Uh, looks a little bit more lofted as well. You can sort of see the pattern on the face there, which I, I really like. I mean, this white paint fill that we've got on the grooves and the black in the middle almost takes me back a little bit to the old steelhead and, and warbird fairway woods that, that Callaway had out there, which, which I quite like. Um, but yeah, sat behind the ball, looks so forgiving. Um, it's got the Epic, um, sorry, the Maverick uh, orange around the outside with the Callaway Chevron on the top of the head there as well. Um, so really looks super premium behind the ball. The shaft we've got in here is Evenflow Riptide, which is a new shaft for this year. And again, using a line in the grip uh, in the tall velvet there for you as well. So super premium um, product. Let's hit a few shots with it. Comes off the face. It feels like it's coming off pretty quick. Um, feels very easy to launch, very easy to get up in the air. I'm imagining I'm gonna hit a few of these to the left potentially, but let's, let's hit a few more and see. I mean, it's, it's just so easy to use. I mean, um, getting the ball off the ground with one of these clubs is not gonna be difficult for you to do. Um, Certainly the way in that, with having that slightly bigger footprint, the way it reacts with the ground when you hit it, kind of gets more weight under the ball and helps you to launch it that little bit more. But feel-wise off the face, it's very, very nice. It doesn't feel quite as solid as the Sub-Zero that I've tested before. The sound is ever so slightly different. But really nice to hit, easy to use as I've said. And the forgiveness is certainly that. I mean, super high ball flight that we're getting with it. But really, really great fairway wood. I mean, if you're someone looking to help launch the ball a bit more, maybe you need that draw bias in a fairway wood to really help you. Um, it's definitely a model you should be looking at. But as I always say, go and get properly custom fitted for it. Try some different shafts and lofts. Um, and make sure you walk out with the right Maverick fairway wood for you. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us some comments below. If you've got any questions as well about custom fitting or about Maverick in general, please leave them there too. See you all very soon.